Hey guys, today I want to give you some great ideas on how to relax with 12 easy ways to relieve anxiety. Now when it comes to treating anxiety, these 12 simple solutions are as effective as they are easy to implement. So try them today and start relaxing away your stress in just minutes. And the first one is very simple, it's just breathing exercises. You should take a moment to close your eyes and focus only on your breathing. You want to inhale slowly through your nose, feel your diaphragm move up into your rib cage, and extend your belly outward as you inhale, and then slowly push out your breath through your mouth as you exhale. You want to feel the stress being breathed out of your body. It's no longer a part of you. Each breath should take about six seconds to complete, uh, six to eight seconds to complete. You want to spend the first three or four seconds slowly inhaling through your nose, and the other three or four seconds slowly exhaling through your mouth. So take about five to ten breaths like this and you'll instantly feel more relaxed. The second is drinking green tea. L-theanine is an amino acid found in tea plants and it also promotes relaxation and modifies the stimulating effects of the caffeine present in green tea. So what does that mean exactly? Well, L-theanine is a caffeine antagonist and that means that it offsets that hyper effect of caffeine. So that's why many people will have a soothing cup of tea instead of, you know, a soothing cup of coffee. Green tea contains more theanine than any other tea. That's why I recommend you stick with green tea. Try it in the morning for a more gradual and calming wake up boost. Number three is listening to music. You should sit back and relax in your favorite chair, listening to your favorite music. And personally, I love listening to classic rock. If you're feeling nostalgic, Put on something that's going to transport you to another place in time. This is an escape. You know, you should escape through the music and think of nothing but the music. You should also try to play songs with a positive or uplifting message, if possible. And really, it's up to you. Just enjoy it and, and have fun. Next, you should try taking a foot bath. And even if you don't actually own a foot bath, you can definitely just fill up a large bowl with some warm water and have a nice long soak doesn't have to be anything fancy. Just put in some, you know, bath salts if you do want to get elaborate. Give your feet a soft, smooth feel uh, with the bath salts. And if you really want to pamper yourself, you can add some flowers and lavender. Um, and, you know, put on some relaxing music. Make sure you're in a comfy chair. Again, you know, while you soothe your cares away with this moment of zen. So make it as elaborate as you'd like to. Next, you want to learn to meditate on gratitude. You should take a few minutes to think about all the things you're grateful for. And it could be as simple as a feeling you know, of gratitude for the food in your fridge or the way your puppy dog looks at you. You know, It doesn't really matter. Um, you, know, you should take the time, just appreciate all the gifts that you have in life and how lucky you are to have them. When you show thanks for the good in your life, more good is going to attract it itself to you. I like to spend about five minutes every morning meditating on gratitude while I take a shower. It's just a convenient way to, to you know, uh, to perform this, this relaxation technique. And it's amazing how it always starts me off in such a great mood for the day. So give it a shot. Number six is exercise. And this should be obvious, but although cardio exercise like running or biking is more effective for leaving anxiety, weightlifting works well too. And really, just getting to the gym in general and burning off some steam is a wonderful way to feel better. And exercise doesn't just provide a physical release, you're also providing a mental release. By exercising, you counterbalance your negative thoughts with a positive feeling that you're taking steps toward improving your health. And in effect, you cast aside worry and you calm your mind with the natural high of working out. Number seven is getting rid of clutter. This one works really well. Feng Shui is the art of creating a serene and relaxing home. And part of this study involves clearing the clutter from your environment. Now, clutter creates a, serene, a sense of confusion and chaos. So by cleaning up your home, you're essentially clearing out the clutter from your mind. And personally, I feel so much better after doing just a little bit of housekeeping. I find it extremely relaxing to just be in a clean home. And personally, I love getting rid of old clothes. If I haven't worn an item of clothing in a year, then it's just clutter and I can give it away, donate it, you know, whatever you like. Number eight is get a massage. Take the time to treat yourself to a massage. You deserve it. A massage is not only relaxing, it also promotes healthy blood circulation and overall well-being. So go ahead, pamper yourself and feel good about it. You know, after all, you're not just doing something good for your mind, you're also promoting a healthy body. 
Next, you should try going for a walk. Yeah, I know these are simple ideas here, guys, but they really work. You know, nothing will clear your head like a nice, brisk walk if the weather is permitting. This is even better if you have a beautiful, you know, background of nature to stroll through. Whenever I visit my extended family, they live in the country, I always make time for a nice 10 minute walk around their lake. And as you walk, think about the rhythm of your body as you stride from one step to the next. It's calming to focus on your breathing as well. Concentrate on each breath and empty your thoughts as you move along. Next is aromatherapy. Connecting certain fragrance, fragrances to an emotionally uplifting situation is going to trigger a relaxation response. So for example, you know, try lighting some of your favorite incense or fill your home with the aroma of potpourri while you sit back and meditate your worries away. And if those aromas are too strong for you, you know, not everyone likes potpourri, you can buy a less pungent smelling Glade air freshener. They work really well. You just plug them into any wall outlet and you can adjust the amount of fragrance that they release. I personally, I love using Glade plugins. I like vanilla. It works well. It's gentle and it, it really relaxes me personally. Next is doing charity work. When you help others, you take the focus off yourself. And taking the focus off yourself is a big part of overcoming anxiety. You internalize less and you simply live in the moment, taking pleasure in the world around you. So feel good about yourself for doing a positive thing for others and do a little bit of charity work. And finally, reading is a wonderful way to relax anxiety away. Uh, you can escape to another place in time, live in someone else's shoes for a while, and just kind of leave your troubles behind. And re reading is actually another form of meditation. Uh, you leave your thoughts and you simply follow a scripted story. You're essentially just going along for the ride and forgetting the world around you. And it really doesn't matter what you read as long as it takes your thoughts elsewhere. This is a healthy break from things and will relieve anxiety within minutes. And guys, I want you to know these tactics are really just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to conquering anxiety and stress. Take the time and make the effort to resolve your anxiety with long-term strategies. And you can start right now at my site, www.stopanxietypanicattack.com. It's stop-anxiety-panic-attack.com. The site has an amazing free video called Anxiety Free Tactics. It's about an hour long, and it has just a multitude of anxiety and panic treatments, including how to stop nighttime anxiety, overcoming social phobias, dealing with depression. I show you acupressure points for stress, and also a bunch of other cool techniques, you know, how to think positive, positively, um, no matter what the situation is. So check it out right now. I think you're going to love it. That's it for today, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.